Hey guys, this is Skaterwind, and today we are in the Minecraft Notes world. In this note, we are going to be teaching you how to build your first house. This house is very vital to your Minecraft character's life, because it protects you from all the danger that lurks within the game. First, you are going to want to find a nice clearing, with enough space to accommodate your house, like the one below. The next thing we're going to do is gather some logs. Logs are important because they provide the walls, flooring, and roof for your house. Logs can be substituted for dirt, cobblestone, or any building block you desire. We are using logs because they are easily accessible in the first night. The third thing we are going to do is craft our logs into planks. We do this because it gives us more resources to work with. If you like, you can save some logs for personal use to add extra aesthetics to your house or to burn it into charcoal. Now, in the clearing you picked out, you're going to want to clear all the tall grass that is within it. You can leave some around, but make sure you have enough room to lay out a 6x6 six six platform. This outline will signify where the walls will be. So here we're going to count it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. We will build this wall up three high. Once we have built up the wall, we will make a roof. I will show you three different roofs and you will be able to choose from the three and also make your own designs. Just follow the diagrams as they appear on the screen. This is a flat top roof. It is the one I least recommend. It is the easiest to build. All you do is have to cover in the hole with wood or whatever material you're using. I least recommend this because it only leaves two spaces inside and it can get a bit claustrophobic. This is the Pueblo roof. It is quite easy to make, and I easily would recommend this to anyone. All you do is cover up the roof, the hole in the roof, but raise it up one level. This is the roof that I most recommend. I like it because it gives the house a more homey feeling. It also raises the roof up quite a bit so you never get the claustrophobic feeling. This roof is the most versatile roof. It can be expanded and can look different in many ways. You can add staircases to the side where it looks more like a roof and it looks like a really great, it's a great, great, great roof. I highly recommend it. Once the roof has been firmly placed, we will be making the floor. While it's doing this, we are also going to be making a door. As we are going to need to be putting a floor under the door as well. While making the floor, I suggest you acquire a spade and or shovel. 
It will greatly help you dig out the bottom of the house. If the bottom of the house is made out of stone, you may want to acquire a pickaxe. Either way is fine. Don't forget, dig out under the door too. I'm going to be using cobblestone for my floor, but you can use any material you desire. If you would have liked, you could have kept the floor as it was, like we had the grass, but animals may have spawned on it. To keep the animals from coming in, we changed the floor to cobblestone. These cobblestone can be substituted for any building, any building material, such as planks. Now we will be crafting a door. To do this, we will need a workbench. And here we have our wooden door. We are going to place our wooden door, and here we have a nice little house. It goes flush with the wall, so make sure that you place the door on the outside of the house. A door is handy because it can give an easy entrance to your home without you having to worry about creepers blowing up inside your house. It also gives a nice homey feeling and makes it look more appealing. Don't forget to place matching block under the door. When the block under the door doesn't match the floor on the other side, it can look very unappealing. Now we are going to be adding windows. Windows are optional but are helpful because they add a good amount of light to your house and they let you view deadly things outside from a safe distance. To acquire this glass, we are going to need to dig up some sand. About 8 or 10 pieces should do us just fine. We are going to need to smelt this sand into glass. To do this, we are going to need to acquire a furnace. We are going to need to craft it by placing 8 cobblestone in a square. By placing wood and or coal into the furnace, and then placing sand on top of it, it will start to smelt the, the sand into glass. While we wait for that to smelt, let us make some holes for the glass to go into. Place these holes wherever you like. Make sure it looks good though. You don't want an unappealing house. Now that we have acquired our glass, we're going to put it in our hot bar and place it into our window slots. Now be careful, we don't want to place one in the wrong spot because you aren't able to mine it back. I suggest putting up torches all around the area of your house. We don't want anything bad spawning near you. Also put some torches up in your house. Some furnishings I suggest are a crafting table, furnace, two chests, or one, and you can put a bookshelf here as well. When you get the right materials, you can decorate your house as much as you like. For this small house, we can do a lot of different things, but only a few of them at one time. You can put a staircase and have a sign and have a little seat in there as well. And we can have a little cake block for when we get hurt and have easy access to health. But one thing we are definitely going to want, and I'm going to break this cake, is a bed. Bed so we can set our spawn point so when we die we end up in our house and it also adds just a nice little homey look to the game. You can add a bookshelf, paintings, really you can have whatever you want. We are now finished! You're going to want to add some basic furnishings and light sources. We don't want a creeper blowing up your house after all that work. And this, my friends, is our final product.
Alright guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. It was a pain in the butt to make because I kept messing up. And, um, it was probably a lot harder. <laughs> I probably made it a lot harder than it actually is. It's just a house with decorations. I just wanted to go as much into detail as I possibly could because I wanted this to be an actual good Minecraft note. The other notes have sort of been, you know, easy. It's installing textures. Everyone really knows how to do that. Everyone knows how to create a new world. I mean, it's not that hard. I wanted this one to be something different, something commentated, something much better than the other Minecraft notes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you learned something. I know most of you know how to build a house, but Minecraft Notes is basically, isn't basically, is mostly generated, mostly pointed to the new Minecrafters, to the noobs, to the newbies. So, um, I hope that they learned something, and I really want to thank you guys for watching. This was a pain in the butt video to make. It's going to take a crap load of editing because I took so many takes so um thanks again for watching I'll see you guys later Hey guys, this is Skater Wind. All right, next roof, next roof. Which roof am I doing? I have no clue. Uh, The creeper painting. A bunch of editing, a bunch of editing, a bunch of editing, and I don't want to edit right now because it is midnight. That roof looks like crap. I need to fix it, but I don't feel like it. Where did my wood go? I'm gonna fix this because it's bothering me bothering me gonna fix it cuz it's bothering me I think that looks better 